the Boapang radio, M radio. Uh, kind of encapsulate all these different rumors about these. Uh, so they're in China. They're a China company in China, and uh, they make really inexpensive radio. Uh, there used to be this feeling that you know some are imported through an official channel of Boapang US, and uh, some other ones you can just buy directly from China now. And uh, so I was, uh, I joined this Facebook group, which I'll put the, the link below. And uh, I asked him, I said, gee, someone told me this was counterfeit. And uh, I wanted to get a new battery. Well, would one of the other batteries work? And they, they basically convinced me that it is not counterfeit. Now, <coughs> What we saw with the two-tier pricing, <coughs> excuse me, the import price and the direct price, they've got a, there was a rumor that the ones who were buying cheaper were either stolen from the factory or they were defective units. They had something wrong with them. And so Bofang was just dumping them for, you know, for practically nothing. <coughs> and people bought them over there and started selling them here. So we had the, the theft idea, the second level of quality idea, and basically all of them are wrong. <coughs> Bofang, this is the UV-S9. Well, evidently, <laughs> this will sound really stupid, but that, uh, that model number is used for other radios that are different. And I guess they play, Bofang plays with the names. Now, maybe it's their way of uh, uh, seeing what ra radios go to what countries or something, but uh, they fool with the names. Now this has, this is, a ham radio person would look at this and say, this is a two-band radio <coughs> because it covers the, the two-meter range, no. and uh, it covers the 440-band range. So the two-meter, which is around 144, and the uh, 440 or uh, yeah. So this is built as a uh, three-band radio. And so have people, some people that don't quite look at it long enough, say this is this has got to be wrong. It's got to be a ripoff because the UV three UV S9 is a three-band radio. Well, actually, this one is more than a three-band radio. What they did it with the original, and I haven't bought one of these recently, so it may be different on the newer models, but they basically had this huge range they worked under, like somewhere from like 135 to 174. So anything within there, they could transmit and receive on. And you know, uh, I know someone who's, the fire department has bought a bunch of them because they can, you know, program in the fire department. Actually, I've got the the fire department on this one, uh, but it's we've turned the transmit off, just like I, the Gorham Police Department here, and we've turned off the transmit on that channel. Uh, and uh, we've done that so we won't make the mistake of transmitting here. I don't know if you can see the Gorham FD, Gorham Fire Department. Uh, so those can be programmed in it, and it can transmit, but as anyone knows that has AM radio license, you never, never want to do that. You'd have to be in jeopardy of dying and have no other means of communication, and then maybe you get away with not being punished for using the uh, one of the normal emergency channels by the fire department or the police department. And uh, even having it programmed into your radio, if I have the fire department put program in here with the transmit open, and I use it, that's one thing the FCC could get you on because you basically were premeditated in doing it because you you've got it in there and you set it so you can transmit. Like there was no disaster when you set it up so you could use it. 
so anyway, it's it is a uh, you know it's a multi-band radio. We get, we can get fire, police, different miscellaneous things that are in that range. And the 440 range, I think, goes a little bigger on either side too. So there's uh, sometimes there's other things you can access. Like I've noticed that uh, you know some of the restaurants you drive through, they actually the the little kiosk that you're talking to actually is a radio frequency. So you can even talk on their business channel or whatever. Don't do that. But I'm just saying something like that is possible. Uh, they couldn't communicate with any aircraft because the aircraft band is AM is the older style of transmission and they've never changed it to single side band. Single side band is is uh is more efficient and it, you know FM is usually what a lot of things are now because frequency modulation instead of AM amplitude modulation because it just provides a better quality signal but uh, the airports don't use those in large or I don't know if they've switched over anywhere but basically not and so anyway so this is our this is a real Fang radio and I was looking for a replacement battery. I've got one battery, and I said, "Hey, if I'm out and about, I would like to have another battery, you know, rechargeable battery, because you know, if the batteries go dead on it, you need to find a house current or the car adapter to charge it up again. You can't have extra batteries to just throw in like double A's or something." So uh, I go on this. I join this uh, uh, Bay Fang group on Facebook and talking to them. And one person pointed out that you can actually get the entire radio for the same price as getting the battery pack. So it's like, oh, so then you can get a whole radio, and then you still don't have, then you want a double battery for each of those. So then you go back and you say, wait a second, I could get some more radios for that price. And I'm pretty sure you got like 50 of these things. Uh, but. Uh, just kind of interesting, and like I say, this uh, UV S9 is an actual bow bank. And like I say, the newer models, I think the FCC did not like that they were selling these in the U.S. and having open frequency, open transmitting ability on all those uh, emergency channels. You know, fire, police, and some other things, and some emergency management. Uh, frequencies too, so I believe they had them. They had to block them out, and uh, you know, there's usually always a, a work around to that because the handbands aren't the same everywhere, and so usually you have a radio that's just doing the bands for the country you bought it for. Uh, it used to be with some of them you could just go in and there was a a wire you could snap or a trace you could break it and make it on contact and it would open up all those other frequencies because there's a uh, Mars they call it it's a military uh, amateur radio system maybe that's what it stands for but uh, it, it and it's actually still used today but it was a way of pa uh, passing messages uh, from civilians to military people and uh, you know, friends and family, things like that. And the, one of the frequencies they worked on was in the lower range of what this can cover uh, when it's opened up and able to do everything. So there you go, a little history of all the, the craziness that goes on with this brand. And uh, they've even come out with this, like, really small radio. I think it's half the size of this. And it only puts out about a watt. But, you know, for the the frequencies it has, and if you're in a, in, in a uh, let's say a more urban environment, you're going to hit some repeaters for that, and it's going to work work fine. And uh, and two, Bayfang kind of kind of lies on some of the specs. This is supposed to be an eight watt radio. Well, most people who've tested it has found it only does like six. So you know, a standard handheld radio usually will do five. That's considered. Uh, pretty much what you want for the maximum 
but then they have some higher power ones. But the thing to remember is, okay, your eyes resonate on the same frequency as the two matter meter, yeah. So conceivably, if you, you know, you wouldn't want you want to talk into a 25 watt radio with that antenna real close to your eyes. So, in a, in a car, you know, usually people have two meter radios in there. They put out like anywhere from 50 to 100 watts. Well, you're you're encaged in your car, so uh, very very little of that that radio signal comes into the car, and then it's of no concern. But there you go, Bofang. Oh,